or Wally Downs at first point of the season here today, but perhaps a missed opportunity. What did you make of the performance? I thought we were terrific first half, and uh, when we got in, so we said it's all about starting again and uh, emphasising that a clean sheet would have got us to three points, but to push on and make sure we won the second half. What do you think we could have improved upon? Certainly, when they went down to ten men, we should have been able to circulate the ball a bit more, move the ball, make them run, make them charge. But I'd said at half time to the boys that, <clears throat> you know, to exploit the big guy at the back, put the ball down the side of him because Michael was getting a lot of joy with that. But then, when we get to t when we get they got down to ten men and I was asking us to play a little bit more football, uh, you know, we, we didn't do that. We st still kept hitting aimless balls forward. And when you play against ten men, you need to be bright enough and sharp enough to change the way you play. And we, uh, you know, we, we didn't do that in the second half. And that opening goal came about from a cross by Luke O'Neill. Was there enough of those crosses or was it people not being brave enough in the box? Well, you know, we, we tried to get overloads down the outside and, and get people in and that time it worked and we need to do more of it. Yeah. Uh, there was great opportunities to do it in the second half and we didn't do it enough. 20 minutes ago you put on Pinnock and Osu. What do you make of their displays and what was the thinking behind the subs? Uh, well, they, they seem to be slow down that side to me, a little bit slower than they were down the other side. So I was hoping that Paul would be able to exploit that. Yeah. And if Mitch could get on the ball, he's got an eye for goal as well. So, you know, we, we, I thought the two centre forwards were doing okay today and were dangerous. And, uh, you know, you look to go elsewhere and try and get some ball and get some start playing. But I don't think they've, we didn't affect the game enough with 20 minutes to go. Games come thick and fast. If Rich and Sunderland's away, what would be the approach to these two big games? Same as every other one, we, you know, we prepare the team to go and win the game. Uh, so I'm not sure if the club have ever played at Portman Road or not before, but be, that, that's, a, that's a first and that's a great stadium to go to. And then to follow up with Sunderland, uh, these, the, the, these games are the reason why we wanted to stay in the league and fought so hard to do it last year. And now you know, the fans have got a great opportunity to go to a great, iconic stadium, Portman Road. And uh, you know, we've got to go there and put in a really good performance. A real plus point, Nathan Tross in the team today. How do you think he did? Yeah, I thought he did well. Nathan made a great save in the first half. Uh, he's a very confident boy and uh, I think there's a great deal he could do with the goal. OK, thanks for joining us, Wally. Cheers.